Well, hello there ladies and gents, my name is Gooch from Zanruka Studios, and today I am here with a brand new Let's Play of sorts. Today I am playing the oh so amazing Sally Face. And for those of you that do not know what this game is, <coughs> neither do I. So don't ask questions. But I heard this is really good. Uh, I've seen a bunch of it. I've watched the videos, but I've noticed something else. I have not, I haven't even paid attention to it, but it's on his brother, Gavin, who's talking to me about this picture. But I can't even notice. I have all five episodes, because apparently it's episodic like the Telltale games, but um, I think I'll stop talking and just get right into this shit. Oh, four. Sorry, four. Telltale's episode one, Strange Neighbors. So apparently uh, there is no use of mouse. <clears throat> it was just like the last time. Only this time, it started in a hospital. Okay. Oh, and also, apparently Sally, uh, face, is a boy. So I'm not going to do any girl voices like I would for Doki Doki Literature Club or something. If it wants to actually go into the, into the thing, that'd be very nice. Oh, crap. Jesus. Ugh. It's a phone. Hello. It's okay, Sal. Everything is going to be okay now. Come and see. Who is this? What are you talking about? Where am I? I'm... I already know who we are. I want to know what you're talking about. Come and see. Weird sounded like my dad. Okay, so I don't know if this is like a spooky game or if this is a fun game or what. The door. It's locked. It's locked. Okay. Light switch. Oh, it's a puppy. Nope. Go in here. Go in here. 
good puppy. Who's your good dog? Who's your good boy? I buried her in my life, kid. You tell me. Huh? Who's your good boy? 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 Mother and wife, uh, Diane Fisher, 1948. <coughs> I don't think you buried her. I think something else happened. So I'm serious, guys. Is this, is this like a survival horror game? Seuss-looking motherfucker. Dad, you are not my son. My son is not a murderer. Whoa, he's engraved on the wall. This is your fault. Can I see what's in there? I'm not sure I want to, actually. Mom, are you? Oh, no. Yeah, this is a horror game. I have now gotten that impression. And that's when I woke up. Cool. Hmm, yes. It's an interesting dream. I think we should uh, come back to that dream later, but for now, you. <coughs> Can you tell me more about the body? Which one? The second one. The one in the apartment. From the apartment. My God. Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about the place right away. Um. Strange neighbors. Cool. So it's just. It's gonna be. The main character, Sally Face. Who the fuck names their kid Sally Face? Oh. This will be our new beginning. <clears throat> we can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? Who's gonna want to hang out with this guy? He is Mr. Edgelord. Some stuff Dad got from the store. Nothing important. Okay. So I'm getting the impression that this is a sleep game. Dad still has trouble sleeping at night after after what? Your mommy died. I 
first answer. What was that wise ass? Nothing. That's what I thought. Stupid weirdo kid. Gumble gumble. Who are you? I'm your fairy fucking godmother. <laughs> what do you look like? I'm an officer of the law. So you better show me some respect. Respect my authority. Where are you standing? I'm protecting noisy little freaks like you from seeing what they are not to see. Now, Scram, I don't get paid to babysit. Well, that guy's just me. So mean for an officer of the law. Obviously this is a horror game. I can see that very clearly now. Locked. But uh yeah, it's a cozy position. Cool. Right floor. So I noticed that all of the floors that are below four are nice. Or so far. No one's home. hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. You're quite well. Cool. There is no one home. Well, there's a person. Hold on, 
Oh no, I can't. <laughs> Pony toys, I swear to God. My name is Sal, and I just moved in today with my dad. What the hell is with your face, child? Oh, I know. Young teens, a new generation of self exploration. I was young once myself. Just as long as you're not in a gang or anything. No, no, it's nothing like that. His face got fucked up, I'm thinking. <coughs> what if... Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and we'll be okay. I'm a... I'm a collector, you see. I collect many things. Yes, I can see that. Are you a big fan of uh, the Brony? So, if you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family, got it? Yes, sir, no problem. I won't be getting you any trouble. Good to hear. Cool. Oh, so I can look at them? <laughs> Bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter points. <laughs> a great accomplishment is <laughs> a tactful set. You can look all you want, but don't even <laughs> touch him. Touch him. What's a glitter pony? <coughs> he was just so depressed there for a second. My god, child. <laughs> Have you, have you never seen glit uh, my glitter pony? Yes, I fucking knew it. Oh my god. It's supposed to be a My Little Pony ripoff of this game, I'm guessing. <laughs> he does look like a brony. You know, besides the fucking figurine, let's be honest here. My glitter ponies, rainbow spectacular. <laughs> it's only the greatest television show ever. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you can want. Ponies, oh, ponies, don't even get me started. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's a brownie for sure. Um, I guess I missed that one. I'll have to look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me. <laughs> you won't regret it. So, nice place you got. Do you live here alone? Be right back. It's my own chunk of heaven, just me and my stuff. Yep, I know, you're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection. Yeah. Don't worry, anytime I'm home, you can stop on by and take it all in again. Sir, 
new resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? How do you know who I am? And all that takes, uh, takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. That's kind of creepy. You're already pretty shady if you ask me. Can I come in? Come in. No, I'm afraid that I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Sure. I never let anybody see my face. Oh, okay. Ah, friend. Is his name Allison or something? What's going on? Hello, young man. Uh, did you just move in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke to your father. It seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out. That's good. Try not to get in our way from now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Was it America? I can't talk about that right now. Um, okay. Bye. Goodbye, detective.
obviously this is probably where we need to go. Just because, why not? This is where all the spooky shit started with that homeless guy. Others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home. Going on ten years now. It seems like a nice place. I betcha. What do others say about the hotel? Oh, all kinds of stuff. I'm sure this building is well over a hundred years old. You know, people are always complaining about one thing or another. Yeah, most people do seem to complain a lot about small things. You can't 
sweat the small stuff, so it's just no way to live, you know? Take it from me, you focus on the good stuff, focus on what makes you happy in this life, put your energy into that. Change the subject. So, do you know anything about what happened in 403? It's a shame you and your dad had to, had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Mrs. San uh, Sanderson. Miss, Mrs. Sanderson. Never mind that. Best not to set your mind on such a dreadful thing. On such dreadful things. Is there anything fun to do around here? just people's overactive imaginations. Too much sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. Yeah. See you later, dude. See you later. Alright, so... He's down in the basement. We've got our basement key card. Alright, so, so I guess we had to talk to her. said I should come say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh, hey, come on in. The door's open. Cool. Oh, look. It's Larry. Oh, nice mask. It's a prosthetic. Oh, shit. Sorry, man. That's cool. I'm used to much worse by now. So I'm glad you like it. I'm Larry, I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. Okay. I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face. I guess I didn't have any decent friends, to be honest. So once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, then the assholes couldn't use it against me. <coughs> complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're, uh, pretty strange. I like you. Wait, I like you. We're gonna get along great. Ha! That's what your mom said, too. Mother's the best. Why do you live in the basement? My mom always says it's because we gotta guard the place for the rats. I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent free with it's big. It's cool though. I don't mind it. I get to listen to music as loud as I want. When, uh, as long as I want to when she's not around. Nice. <coughs> Ooh, Odin's Blood. That's a cool name for a band. Yeah, it's like my own little bat cave. I like your shirt. 
thinks it stands for Sally Face. <laughs> I do have my own clothing line, so... <laughs> it's actually for this metal band called Sainties Fall? Do you, uh, do you like metal? I don't know. Oh, that's gotta change. Check out this song. It's, the first, it's their first single. The full album comes out in a few months. would not doubt that. Uh, he was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints on or anything. Maybe she touched his glitter ponies. I, I bet you that's what it was. He touched her, uh, her glitter po his glitter ponies, and then he got pissed off at her and decided that he was going to come. Should we tell the cops? Actually, I tried to talk to that detective, but... You won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like I'm... Like my word isn't enough. seen him leave his room. <laughs> Always talks through his little mail slot. He's a nice dude, just real strange. Oh yeah, if you say Addison T, please and thank you to him, he'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate the stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. Uh, 
it's a police scanner. I can listen in on local cop chatter. <coughs> Sorry. What the hell did you get this thing? That's a story for another day. But hey, you just gave me a great idea. I make a fake call. Maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 403. Upstairs when I do that, so we can make the <coughs> make those minutes count. I can use walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. And I can give you a heads up too once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery with armed robbery at the like a gas station or a drugstore make it a little more believable. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this. Head up to the room and let me know. Just press that uh, shift button. There to call. Cool. So I think it worked. We'll see if you can get uh, 403 now. Oh. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Just get... <coughs> Ow. Give me one second. did it guys all right now let's get back into this <coughs> let's do it let's party hearty <coughs> all right so now we're we're back out yeah my fucking finger hurts dude Just looks like 
jumped at me. All right, keep looking then. There's gotta be something else. I'm sorry, I'm starting to the fucking voice. Man, this is pretty twisted. Tell me about it. Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Mrs. Sanders got this super rare one or something. She was telling me about it that day I was fixing her toilet. Anyways, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why we offed her in the first place. That dude always did give me the creeps, just something unsettling about him, right? Yeah, wow, this is crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't uh, live in a building with a murderer. <coughs> exactly, that's why you gotta get into Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait, why do I have to do this? I snuck into 403. Charlie isn't fond of me. There's no way he'd let me in. He accuses me of steal uh, stealing snacks from his room. Snacks? Fucking fatty. Yeah, he is pretty fat. He looks like he's been pissing on his wife beater. Why? I don't know. Maybe that's just sweat, or maybe it's like wet Cheeto dust? I don't know. Alright, alright, I'll do it. Won't be able to sleep at night anymore. Cool. You're the man. You're the man, Sally. Here, take this baggie. You can slip the toy in without touching it. I know I get the feeling you've done this before. <laughs> nah, I just watch too much TV. Cool. Um, Q, so we got our game system. Uh, it's called a Gear Boy, by the way. Very subtle. Wink, wink. We got the key card, we got the walkie talkie, and we got the baggie. Cool, so we're ready to <coughs> bust into this mug. Let's do this. So we're gonna go in here. I think we're, uh, we're gonna do the thing with Charlie, and then I think we're gonna end that in, uh, this episode there.
can't face my man. Good luck. That's all we got. Most of this episode just fucking around. I can already tell that it's gonna be <laughs> bad viewings. It's just a piece of shit, man. He, he used us.
so great. Please enjoy. Sal, I was starting to like you. Wouldn't dream of it, Charlie. Good, good, I'm glad. Say, if you get any more of Addison tea, I would love some more. Mr. Addison already cut me off for the day. God. So I know that he gets really fucking sleepy after he gets some tea. So we're gonna go get some more.
see it. I see it. You see that uh, that, that pink one on on the very top, the very top shelf. It has like little blood spickles all over it on, on his feet. Very weird. That that entire fucking fetish with the uh, ponies is just weird to me. I won't treat you any differently. I, I, I just, I don't understand. It weirds me the fuck out. No, I'm serious. How the fuck do I make it strong? It's coming right up.
I think I'm, I'm I, th I think I'm gonna stop this episode right here. I'm kind of cutting into my time a little bit. I'm trying to limit the videos a little bit because I know that people don't usually sit down for hour-long videos. So I think I'm gonna stop right here. Anyways, guys. I really, really hope that you enjoyed. Please, um, I know I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to figure things out here. I'm gonna do a little bit of research before I get back onto this game again, uh, because I have no fucking clue what the hell is going on. But I will come back to this most definitely. I want to at least finish the first chapter. Uh. But if you guys want to help me out in any kind of way, like tell me what I'm supposed to be doing, where to go for certain stuff, please leave a comment down below. And with that, I'm going to go into my usual outro because, you know, why the fuck not? More episodes of Doki Doki Literature Club, by the way. And uh, I'm, I'm working on a new episode of The Letter, a horror visual novel, which for those of you who have been subscribed for a while, you may recognize that one considering the fact that I, I played it some time ago and I completed the first chapter of that. So that might be coming back. Um, other than that, I have nothing else to say. Please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more content. Press that bell button for notifications on our upcoming videos. And uh, with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.